Rosie from Clarity Stamp. Today I want to talk about some of my favourite tools, the shader tools. Now currently we do two sizes of shader, um, a one millimetre, 1.2 millimetre, so one slightly larger than the other. Now these I use in conjunction with my embossing ball tools, but I use them a lot and I find them really easy to use, especially if you like that soft shade. So if I just show you this particular card that I've got here, this is using the Trumpet Lilies. You can see that the shading on here is really, really soft. So these tools are great if you want um, maybe large areas, folds of a dress, something like that. I use them all the time on just about everything. So let me show you how to use them. So I'm going to start just by outlining this particular plate, which is the Trumpet Lily there. So that's the one we're working on. Just that onto there with some groovy tabs. Put it over with a tumble dryer sheet. And then choose a tool to emboss with. Um, I'm going to use the one millimeter Pergamano tool. If you're unsure which tool to trace on your plates, then check out our playlist because we've got a little YouTube on there on which embossing tools to use. So let's just run around this really quickly. That's going to give us a basis to emboss now. So I'm going to take it from there. I'm actually going to use our pink embossing mat. So this is our Pergamano embossing mat. Now this is the latest from Pergamano, it's a few years old now, it's great, to me it's the absolute best, it's nice and flat, it's nice and large, it means that my hand's not on an angle when I'm embossing, I just find it really really easy to use. If, you, if you've got a delicate touch, I've, I'm a little bit like that, it means that I'm going to get a white emboss. If you're heavy handed, because you haven't got the depth on the mat, you're unlikely to go through, so it's great for everyone. Continue to use the groovy guard and then I'm going to go for the larger of the shaders on this particular one I think. So first layer, I want quite a lot of embossing on this, be gentle with it. Don't go in as hard as you possibly can because then it's going to make that parchment buckle potentially. So all you're going to do is, and you're almost stroking, so more pressure on the beginning and then you're then going to release that tool so that you're, you're stroking that parchment but because you're putting more pressure on the beginning you're automatically getting that shaded effect on there as well. So work your way around, you don't want to be pressing hard at this point, you're just aiming for sort of a pale grey effect on this. Now I love my shader tool because um, if I was going to do this with a ball tool I'd need to use a, a quite a large ball tool and I'd be very careful so that I didn't get those stripes that you sometimes get. That's the main reason that I like my shaders is so that you're actually getting this lovely soft joined up embossing almost. You can emboss away from you or you can emboss towards you whichever is most comfortable and, and whichever suits the project you're doing as well. You're also going to emboss in the lines of the flow of the, what you're embossing. So this flower petal, I'm going to emboss sort of round the corner ever so slightly there. This centre one's quite straight on the edge of this petal again slightly round the corner on that as well. So you'd emboss all of your lovely trumpet lily really really nice and gently. And a couple more petals to do and then we'll be done. And again. Okay, so if I turn that over and show you just how light that emboss is, so you've got really quite a pale effect on that, and that's what you're looking for is that pale effect. What you do now is you let it rest. So um, you need to pop off, maybe have a cup of tea, get a couple of jobs done, and then come back and we can emboss it again. Hello again, my embossed lily. I've got it here, it's had a little bit of a rest, I've popped up, had a cup of tea, I'm ready to continue. So I'm working on the back of my design, I'm still going to use that same size shader and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually then going to emboss again. And you'll find that by allowing your parchment to 
rest. You're allowing those fibers in the paper to relax. And then when you then emboss again, you're gonna get much whiter detail on there, but you're not stressing your parchment, so it's not likely to buckle. And again, it's light pressure. Don't worry about putting lots of pressure on here. You don't need to. And this is how I would build up. Now, however many times you emboss is entirely up to you. You might want to emboss just a couple of times and you're happy with that. Sometimes um, it won't be unusual for me to emboss six, seven times easily, especially if it's a large area as well. And then what you can do then, if I've got to show you some that I've already prepared. So this is where we've embossed twice. And this one we've then embossed a couple more times. This one I've embossed again a little bit more. And if you then look, we've got some um, valleys in there with more shade in there we've got more highlight in there and what you're going to do is you're going to continue to emboss until you're happy with the result I've obviously put a little bit of color on that as well and then one final thing with the shaders that it's really great to use for is if you need to draw any lines on your project I've got our Pergamano ruler here you'll find that actually you can draw great lines with the shader because you can butt it straight up to your ruler as well. So that's a couple of the reasons why I love the shader tool. Thank you for watching.